Hello, thank you for joining us on Eyewitness Report. On this week's edition of the program, we follow up on eyewitnesses' pictures to bring you reaction from displaced persons in the aftermath of the recent demolition of their houses in the Wurunshoki area of Lagos State. Welcome to the program. I am Jomi Otaibi. Occupants of a waterside community in Owurun Shoki, which is in the Koshofe local government area of Lagos State, are now homeless following the demolition of their houses. The exercise was said to have been carried out by the Lagos State Environmental and Special Offenses Enforcement Unit. Channels Television visited the area to assess the impact of the demolition on the displaced persons. An aerial view shows demolished structures on a land that stretches through a section of the Lagos Lagoon Front into a waterside settlement in Uwuroshoki. Shanties and concrete structures destroyed, rendering many homeless. This place is a house. She had a burnt house. This big house. An eyewitness video shows one of the moments of the demolition. Those who are yet to leave the area put up improvised shelters within the portion where their houses once stood. My children is four, so do one. This woman with plenty, all of them is plenty. Where they here? So how long have you been staying here? Ah, the person will say here, like it be fifty, so everybody go sleep. My mother beat us here, right? Because when the thing is happening, they, we don't have, we don't hear anything, right? And they don't inform us, like they want to come and demolish all this place. But all this place, we develop this place with a uh, malam and everybody like that. We sanfil all this place like that. But so many people came here and built us around this side and. When they come to this place, we don't know anything. My mother is not around. And our tenant also is not around. Me also is not around. But we are just hearing that there has demolished house in our area. What documents did, were you given to show that this land belonged to you? The, everything is burned now because everything is in the house. We, we have the document, but everything is, is burned with the house. They don't notice us. They don't tell us anything. So suddenly we just see them burning houses. As I use here, nothing I can take. As they come, they break my house. I come see some um, policeman. They take my hand on. I want to talk. So people tell me I cannot talk anything. Because if I talk, it's going to cause war. All the policemen, because they take wood, I want to eat my head. It is, I mean, I'm a smoke it. I'm for two, some, for two years. It's my head. I don't know sometimes I'm doing. Some people come, they push me, push me. I can't look at like this. Because I don't get supporter to help me. Now, so if I live inside one day, this is my family house, second place. I, 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 I don't know how something I can do. So, where are you staying right now? I don't stay, I just manage up and I just pull my student, go another, my sister place. So, I want to ask this question like I asked you that person. Yes. How did you get this land to build up? I can tell you, family. It's my friends in Swambi, Paul. Now he said, he said this. For how much? He said this place for me like 300 to fly. How big? It's a couple pieces. If you want to do anything, you know our family, right? Amidst the debris, a church building stands untouched. It now serves as a refuge to several displaced families. Yeah, 
amo e ma inu mo mi ga onjo duro ni wa e wo dumi do ki ma mo ile na do wa no wo dumi do chene we can't just run and leave the church so we are waiting for them to come and demolish it they normally pass here through they will just shook their head at the church and then pass away again so this is the only structure remaining on this land ma mo le dudu ne ma mo le dudu ne do e be mi osun mi wa o me mi to na wa tongo so ye ma tongo le ya ma mo nu mi wa tongo le gbe no le bi en gramu de ma komezi so what we were saying was that when everywhere was demolished most of us are fishermen so most of them they don't have anywhere to go we don't have nowhere to go we are just managing on ourselves depending on ourselves if, if you have little then you share it with others that's where we are living residents say they had watched helpless when men identified as members of the lagos state environmental and special offenses enforcement unit known as task force allegedly carried out the exercise without prior notice I move on, but this is the sign that you cannot. This is the sign. This is what my chicken is. This is a feeder. We call this thing a feeder. That's chicken using to eat. So I remove all. This is a cage. The one that I do by myself. You demolish them. This is a cage. This is a cage that I'm using to nurse the chicken. They don't notice us. They don't tell us anything. So suddenly we just see them burning houses. Burning houses, destroying many things. You don't notice, they are coming. This any notice. I've been living here 23 years ago. So the, my first money that I've seen in my life, I used to buy this place 23 years ago. So I'm a livestock farmer. So even though when I'm delivering lecture to the people, when I still hear about the people that they are coming, I'm just telling people they should put their mind at rest because they are just hearing the rumor they will demolish all this place. Oh, this and that. I said that there is waterfront apartment in uh, Alausa, which I know, but they said is the place the water f the water starts to the to the river or to the lagoon. It's not to reach the ground, but suddenly as they are coming, we are just seeing. Suddenly we are as they are just coming, we are just seeing. They are coming. They are demolishing houses. They are taking the side of water. But when they reach like 30 streets to this, our community here, they just enter the streets and be burning houses, demolish houses. They brought two caterpillars, demolish houses, just enter. The following day, they bring, they bring tax force, more than, more than 30 vehicles, 30 vehicles, then bring many, many tax force officers, but policemen, they are shooting guns, shooting tear gas. So we can't be able to stay, even though we don't have anywhere to go now, even though. This thing paid me. I don't know where to settle. to. They destroyed my things. This thing that I've been gathering for more than 30 years ago. I have nowhere to go. My chicken are suffering, they are dying. My fish pond, I don't know where to put them. From this place, I deal a bowl from car wash. And I now run into this place. If you know car wash, far to this place. That is business. I'm the one supplying this area of water they are using. That is business I do here. I also has a chicken. I also has a fish that I'm training. Now, where they want me to go? I have my family. A lot of people are here. They, they don't have where to go. They are suffering here. I think this thing is not supposed to be. They don't tell us notice. They said their place of notice is on top of water. They don't come to ground. I have a mosque there. They, they burn the mosque. They burn the mosque. They'll just cut a foam and put it in the petrol. They'll just put light. Just leave there, they'll put it. You know, the, the people that came, they want to burn my poetry also. I will never lie to you. I bribe them with 5,000, 5,000. I spent more than 25,000 to bribe them. Yes, more than. So the people, that's what that came. They said, why they don't like this place? Oh, please, oh God, please. Let me pack my things. Take. It's 5,000 that is there. They will go. Another set will come. That is why I'll be able to see some things to take. Where is the notice that the government gave us? And where is the court order? There's not anything. You gave people, you just put people to darkness. You are just doing things without informing us. You don't inform our father. I didn't think that is proper. And see a lot of people here now. They are homeless now. If you want to do anything, I think 
there's what they call a law. You write a letter, you give it to us. We came here to come and talk to them that, okay, government wants to use this place. I didn't know anybody that wants to use this. When you inform we inform people here, they should leave the place. Uh, later on, they are burning people's house, they are burning their property. And if people want to talk, you are locking them, you are taking tax on them, you put on inside. Is it the law? And these are the people that vote for you people. An abatement notice obtained from a resident indicates that it was issued by the Ministry of Environment on July 18, 2023, only to residents in Lekon Oyebade and a few more streets. In the letter, the Lagos State Government claimed that the communities encroached the wetland and illegally converted it into a habitation. Poor environment hygiene is also mentioned. Thoughts have also emerged that the demolition was targeted at only wooden houses and other structures along the riverbank, but the demolition squad went overboard. Initially what they said was that this waterfront here, that um, the wooden houses are the ones they wanted to demolish. Yes, like this ones here. All of a sudden, we just see them breaking um, uh, 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 bricks. They broke them. The first time they came, I think they, they, they only broke um, wooden houses. So the second time they came, that's the second day they came. They did not even use caterpillar again. They did not use hand again. They started throwing fire into our homes. They shattered our homes. They make us homeless. No, we are to sleep. Come it rain, no, we are there, sleeping there. And we were trying to, some of us, some of the youths came with our phones so that we can video, dispose them online to see what, how we can get soccer, how we can get help. The policemen that they brought and the task force they brought collected our phones from us. They broke it. Some, they carried it away. We are just shattered. We are homeless. We want the government to come to our rescue. Let them help us. We are homeless. We are homeless. There was no notice at all. There was no notice. They just came, started demolishing our houses. The demolition is said to have been extended to some houses on streets meters away, sending fears to residents in the neighborhood. This property was brought, was brought by my dad. You can see from the date it was written 1976. Not like we, 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 you know that we just bought it yesterday or day before yesterday. And we're believing on this area for over 20 years now. So what other documents do you have to We have the plans, the house plan here too. Yes, the survey plan of this house. And this is... 1984. Yes, yes, that's 1984. This is the date here. That's the receipt. They just come that afternoon on Sunday, if I'm right, they just come on Sunday afternoon and tell me you need to move now that this your house is going down now without any notice without any, without even up to 24 hours and they start demolishing the building you can see now i've spent over standard pop if i can't estimate but I can, the, the 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 amount i've spent to renovate this house is over 10 million euro. how can it just come down in a day without proper notification without compensation i lost everything who am i now Apart from this, my car, I don't have any other thing again. All my property is gone. A retired military officer explains alleged threats by the task force to demolish his house and others when they resume. Well, and they are coming now from that Ogokeri. They enter to the Ogoluwa. This is our street. They started pointing houses that this school is going. This house is going, this is yeah, this is my own house, that is going, and I've been here since 1994, I've been here. They pointed the house without notice, no paper, no notification, no marking. So if you look at this side now, they, they, they damage more than 14 houses, block, not board off. They are all block houses and being demolished without notice. So people now, they are homeless. In my house, I have more than 18 people are sleeping in my, in, in my premises because they broke up their own houses. They brought Lagos State Vehicle, Lagos State Tax Force Vehicle. They mobilized themselves more than seven vehicles. They brought, they, they brought ambulance. So they do the operation for four or five days. The fifth days, we organize ourselves with a banner. So they met us at the entrance of the the community. So when they met us, we said, I 
I talked to one of the senior officers that we are not coming here to fight anybody. We only want to the media to know what is going on in our area. Now the police say we should so want to go to state house. I think we have sent some people to state house. They did not allow them to say anything. They did not entertain them. Now they come again now. Then they are ready. The two boys among us, the one that carried the banner, they carried the boy, another one lady again. Later, they leave them around 4 o'clock after taking them to Alausa. But since then, now, they only say they are coming back tomorrow to come and start demolishing the remaining when house. You say As an individual and yeah. community, what have you done, what steps have you taken to get government attention or seek their own um, explanation to this? The CDA members went to the uh, local government chairman is denying that he never knew anything about it. So they said their own representative to Alawusa and they promised that they, 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 they will see to the issue. That's what we had. We have more on the Oworoshoki demolition after the break. Just stay with us. Welcome back. Channel's television caught up with a member representing Koshofe constituency at the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mr. Sani Okonlawo. Mr. Okonlawo talks about his knowledge of the demolition, the suspension of the exercise, and what he's been doing regarding the welfare of the displaced persons. Uh, so we had on uh, the 25th of July this year that the team of... Um, Task Force of Shares, CUM, Ministry of Environment, just like an invasion of a community, came to Urunshoki community, specifically the Okeri area, where some people claim to own the land, and especially the Gandono family the, and the Koka family. So the demolition started and um, so many people incurred losses. Losses of houses, losses of uh, properties. So I went there to see for myself what actually happened. I saw the houses had been demolished. Yes, shanties, some shanties, some block walks and all that. Houses that you can claim to be an house. Not chances this time around. But when the house was called for plenary, I seized the opportunity to let the whole world know about the happenings over there. So it was debated, the Mr. Speaker, Right Honorable Dr. Mudashiru Ajayobasa ordered the stoppage of the demolition forthwith. So, and again, one of my prayers is that the people, the people are suffering, nowhere to put their heads, source of livelihood gone, and all that. that the Ministry of uh, Special Duties should come to our aid, at least to provide succor for our people that are languishing over there. As we told people still sleep on beer floor out, outside there, without roof on their head, you know, they use tarpaulin to cover themselves. It's unfortunate, it's becoming a humanitarian issue. Elders, young ones, children, they are really, really languishing. It's unfortunate. As we talk, demolition has stopped. And, um, a committee has been set up to investigate the matter and report to the House in the next two weeks for further legislative action. Even though we have tried our best to call the um, to call the task force to order. But uh, everything hits, it's, it's a brick wall, you know. We tried to see the people in charge of the ministry. 
every effort eats the brick wall. Efforts to reach the Lagos Task Force and other relevant agencies on the matter have proved abortive, as calls are not going through. The five-member committee set up to investigate the matter is expected to report to the House in two weeks. Human rights activist Mr. Benjamin Ogunlami also shares his thoughts about the development. Personally, I know of um, development that had happened in Oworo through the people involved. And then um, we've seen a lot of uh, activities took place in the course of time. But at this moment, I, I can testify to it that Oworo is one of the peaceful places that people will want to live. And I can tell you of a fact that in the past, Oworo used to be a place where hoodlums do a lot of things. But this is the only community in Lagos State that has its own security operative, where there is no hideout for anybody. In fact, any hoodlum, you can't find any hoodlum in Oworo Shoki to date. There's no hideout for anything or such because the community had risen for this cause. So, in response to whoever is saying um, the, the Shanti's area is a hideout for um, criminals or for courtists, no, it's wrong. This place aren't Shanti's anyhow. And then I can say that there's not, in the last two years, if not three years now, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, or has been a peaceful place. So it's not an excuse for any government to come in saying that they want to destroy the hideout of voice. There's nothing as such in the world. And then um, we can see from this place, buildings were destroyed, not just those on the sea. I mean, those um, beside the sea. Buildings were destroyed. And people's properties, more than 10 million naira were destroyed. And then uh, even if a government would tell a people to leave a particular area, there must be provision. What are the provisions that the government had put in place? And before they can tell them to leave, though there had been speculation over the years that they will come, but at the time you're coming, the government had to tell the people that at so so time you have to evacuate the place to a provided place. The government didn't do anything. It shows... Yes, there, there's nothing. So they just leave the people to penury. Some are having stroke to this moment. Some are feeling bad. Children are sleeping beside, um, even in the night I was here and I saw a lot of things going on. It's, it's, in, it's inhuman. The people selling the lands here are also the, from the royal family in this community. So they are the people in government too. They sold the land to people. And then if government is seeing it from an environmental angle that they want to come in from that angle, I think um, it's best for the government to come in relate with the people, also interact with, interact with them to see uh, if flooding is affecting them during rainy season, and which, which, which there, there had been no record of flood in this area. The people well manage their, their environment. So if government actually want to come in, government have to, uh, has to discuss with the people what and what is affecting you in this place and what which area can government come in so we don't see such thing in this country. government is not even interacting with them except during the election so that's the only thing i see here the environmental factor is out of it reports featured on this program are told from the pictures and videos captured by eyewitnesses in real-time events or situations that directly affect them or their neighborhood. You could also be a part of the program. Simply send pictures you've captured with your phone or other devices to our eyewitness platform on the Channels TV mobile app. With your details left on the platform, we should be able to reach you and follow up on your story. Here are the pictures we've picked from the ones you sent recently. Hello, CWC Shawo. CWC Shawo. Attention, CWC Shawo. We begin with this video from Lagos in which an eyewitness is calling for help after two children were trapped in a rubble at number 25 at Lawo Street in the Shawo area of Lagos State. Part of the fence from a neighboring house reportedly collapsed on the part of the building where the children were sleeping. The National Emergency Management Agency later confirmed the death of the children before help could come. By men on the streets, but they appear not to be doing enough because there are no gadgets. 
An accident is shown in the next video. According to the eyewitness, the accident which involved two commercial buses with passengers occurred in the early hours of Thursday, July 20, on the third Melan Bridge in Lagos. The road crash was caused by reckless driving. The eyewitness laments the high rate of accidents involving commercial buses as a result of dangerous driving. From Kubwa, a suburb in Abuja, an eyewitness captures the moment a man is being swept off by flood under the Kuba Chikakore Bridge while trying to save his motorbike. Thank you for your contributions. That's it for this edition of the program. See you again same time next week. I'm Yomi Otaigi.